Alright folks, we are messing around again today, um, we're working on, or just took out the accelerator pedal position sensor. This is what it looks like up close, alright, you see a lot of other videos, uh, a few other videos actually doing it, at least for the 2004 Acura TSX. This is the same for the 2004, 2005, 2006. It should be the same for 2006, 2007, 2008. I know it's the same for 2004, 2005. Um, K24 series engine, the same. It should be also the same for the uh, 2004, I believe, to 2007 at uh, Honda Accords. Uh, this guy, it's, it, it never, ain't, nothing is ever easy on a car. I don't care <laughs> how easy someone says it is. Um, so that, that what you what you're getting at are bolts. All right, you don't need to take the big one off. Uh, technically, the bolts you're getting after well, first you you're going to be clipping and unclipping this here. That's uh your ECU telling this thing to move. Uh, you got a bolt here that you're unloosening. That's uh, twelve. What will give you potential problems is this one right here, that one right there, and then there's another one right here on this side. Where is that? I don't even know where it's at. Well, it's not. It, the, the point I'm making is these bolts, these 10 millimeter bolts, boop, are not accessible from the top. <laughs> They failed and they neglected to tell me that. So you're you 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 you're better off with a ratcheting wrench. I'm at work and I'm just pulling stuff out of my trunk that I know I can pull it out with. But the ratcheting wrench can just burn through this like a hot knife through butter. Um. At any rate, that's basically what it is. Um. <laughs> so one more time man you're you there's a this, this metal plate this metal plate all right is holding this in you're bolting this device to this to that and there's another one on the back side over here the only way you can get to them one more time is if you're going in this way. So you, you have room. Again, the ratcheting wrench should just eat this up. And this, this bolt right here is where your cover's going into. But everything's reassembled. This is tightened up. This, uh, one more thing, one more major thing. Um, if you're getting a brand new part, I try to state OEM. This uh, throttle cable, there's like a little jackhammer bell. All right, that goes in that little hole. That little hole right here. All right, so you're putting it through there, and you're feeding the cord upright and flush to that groove, to the point where it's sticking. It's flush up against that, and it's coming all the way here, as you see here. So that's flush. The problem I ran into is that I don't know if the part is so brand new, to the point that it uh. It didn't want to go in because it was just, I guess it was just kind of small. At any rate, that's a potential problem as well. But at, then after you get all that in, you're, uh, that should sit right on top of it. So you're lining up, of course, the bolts, but you have the, you got this big, tall vacant area that's supposed to line up with that piece of metal there in addition to that you have this bolt hole from the top on this one and this one uh, let me just sit it in here it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too much force needed to sit it yep and there you go and there you go and it's, it's supposed to 
I mean, uh, it's I have an old car. I have 210,000 miles on it. It's supposed to give it a little more fluidity to the pedal and throttle. So there's no jerking. I don't think I had too much jerking at all. Uh, but it should help out that much more on gas efficiency and the city driving that I do. So don't like, or you can't like, don't subscribe. I don't do videos, kinda, I think. Um, this is for educational purposes and educational purposes only. Um, this might be able to transition to other cars that you have throttled by wire type devices. Uh, that's it. Questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section.